I'm at the stage now that I have the feeder mechanism. Um, I mounted it to the front. You can see the end stop on the print head and I mounted it about halfway up the open beam right there. Um, I'm going to be using the white PTFE tube to insert into the feeder over to the extruder. And then we'll be using this to uh, wrap up all that massive wires coming out of the printhead. The end result is something like this. A um, little unsure uh, how high to put this. Their video said midway down the front beam with the uh, uh, end stop on facing this way. So I did that and then I wrapped the extruder power fans and all that in their uh, wire wrap and came in on this side so as it came down it wouldn't um, lay across the the wires anyway wouldn't lay across the hot print bed so we'll see as i continue assembling if this is of the ideal locations the back side so the wrap goes around the extruder wires comes up and meets the feeder stepper motor and then combines his wires and then comes in underneath in here. And it looks like then your uh, control board will go inside there. This is the LCD electronics. There's a knob for it. There's M3 by 12 and M3 by 20. You need to peel the decal off and <clears throat> the little jigs you see on there are what's going to mount the LCD. All right, the LCD screen is assembled. Um, the shorter screw on the top, the 20 millimeter screw on the bottom, these are both the M3s. And the knob pushed in, the plate rotated. So it's going to go in like this, and then we're going to use the M4 by 10 and M4 square nut in here on the top to lock this guy in. The controller board was screwed down with two um, M3 by 8 and M3 8 hex nuts. I'm sorry, M3 hex nuts into that uh, control board plastic plate we had down there. And then on the back side, I've uh, slid in nuts for this back plate and I'll be sliding them in to line up with the holes, hopefully, and uh, attach that. Okay, with the LCD in the front, this is gonna be the X axis y-axis and z-axis and on the control board you'll see they're labeled the same way and then the end stop controls over here work the same way the coloring is going to be x is red y is blue z is green so that matches up to the coloring here and for the end stops there. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect those up. Okay, X, Y, and Z, both the end stops and the servo control wires are hooked in. For the LCD, the left one right here goes in the one closer to me, and the one on the right goes in the further one right there. Okay, I've tightened up the design. Went ahead and moved the feeder motor, or feeder stepper up to the top. So the tube comes down, goes down, a little less restrictive that way. And the uh, power then is wrapped in their uh, loom that they provided. Comes down, goes down into there. 
and then the uh, feeder stepper comes over and I've stuffed it into the side here of the uh, open beam and then they all come in and go in through uh, the side here where they'll connect into the control board. Okay all the wiring is done. A um, few challenges here and there um, like determining between the two fans I got a little battery out and uh, powered one of them so I could figure out which of the two fans on the hot end of the extruder goes into fan one and which one goes over uh, here. Um, probably easiest to refer to their video to get the rest of the wiring on here, but it's fairly straightforward. It's all cleanly labeled on the uh, control board. Um, a little concerned yet about how the uh, wires, because I have a hotbed, I don't want them up against the heat of the hotbed, so I might have to look into how that fits here. And that should be coming up next. All right, everything's <clears throat> assembled except for the uh, hotbed. And as you can see, it's a little close to the wires underneath, so I need to figure out some shelter, some shield of some sort to prevent the uh, wires from getting hot. Also, there were no mounting brackets or to uh, mount the hot plate. What it calls for instead is this crystal that they provided would sit down in here. Of course, there's no heat. And uh, they have little plastic brackets that uh, then screw in and hold it there. So I could use that, but it leaves me without a, a hot bed. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is finding some kind of shim spacers and uh, raising that up above it, put some, I don't know, plexiglass or maybe some uh, heat shield underneath that. 